and I'm about to the judges, respectable to all the audiences, and I'm further the most to all my friends. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Imagine, imagine leaving the world for the reasons and for the tragedy. Imagine that your best friend is alien. Imagine you can fall in love with the princess. Imagine you can get anywhere you want. As like internet, it's free anything possible and impossible in this world. My name is Kifaldi Abrol Umar and I am the delegation of Sinandra that is farming boarding school and today I would like to talk about the implementing of the intelligence for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There has come to us an apostle who is the wise example. One of the characteristics of the Prophet Muhammad we can use as an example is the nature of our problem. The messenger of Allah has never experienced education like we are today, but because of the merit of the God gave him. Through his revelation, he was reflected as an intelligent person. One of the intelligences that we can see from the Prophet Muhammad when he led the battle of Badr, to find out how many enemies he would face, he only asked the young Christ, who used to serve him to the Christ troops. He asked how many camels the Christ used to eat in one year. They used to answer about the nine to ten camels. From there, the prophet can ask me if one camel can be consumed by about a hundred people. Then the Christ army he will face will number is near a hundred to one thousand people. This is one of the smart way of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Until now, human intelligence is growing. For example, internet technology. So that why, we as the generation of Islam, we must smart and wise in dealing with internet technology. The term of internet is combination of computer network in a wide scale and larger. This use of computer can communicate its other with other people just by using language network. The internet has become the very important technology for a variety aspect. What aspect of education? It includes cultural aspect, economic aspect, social aspect, and more. From this, we can conclude that there are many positive events of the internet for our education system. First, as we are. The internet has become the primary source of knowledge. So in the net, any information and references that can help students to become more open. And provide extra learning material in order to be more viable. This information itself, not only from like document or readings, is come from various forms such as video, podcast, interactive website where students can learn fun pages or games, flashcard, and perhaps songs. Recently, student grade on elementary school, when I'm 70 person, ever since that school has provided extra Wi-Fi connection, and teacher has started using YouTube videos as learning media. Second, as a source of information, it enables students to become more open to existing problems that are they devices. This hopefully we make them realize that there are many challenges which they must face and inspire them to solve the problem through innovation in order to be from what the better place. Third, it's not no better access to what education. Internet's no no boundaries. It can even cross thousand miles of these states. This is the reason why nowadays on the classroom where student and teacher don't need to be on the same way. In order for them to do teaching and learning activity and become more fun can. There are many benefits of internet for our education system that I believe all of us can already feel. Hopefully, we can use our internet in a wash manner. My generations, maybe are the generation of Islam, we must smart, wash, and can be useful for the religion in this homeland and nation. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, that's all from my speech. Hope
we can use find our info and enjoy it. Thank you very much. Plus I say, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.